Let me take you to a courtroom scene. There was a 15-year-old boy, a young kid really, who was arrested. And the magistrate asked him, "Boy, what is your name?" The brave young lad looked at him and said, "Azad," which means free. The magistrate looked at him and asked, "What is your father's name?" The boy smiled and said, "Swatantrata," independence. The magistrate finally asked him, "Where is your home?" This young brave boy actually smiled and said, "Jail." This young kid was none other than one of the giants, one of the superheroes of the fight for Indian independence. No history on the freedom fighters of India can ever be complete without his name. He was Chandrasekhar Azad. India, 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 India. That's me chanting India, India. It's an amazing feeling to be rooting for your country, isn't it? Today we can chant India India because hundreds of thousands of men, women and children were willing to die. In fact, they died to get the right to call our country our own. They fought for our independence so that you and I, 1.32 billion Indians have the right to chant India India. Hi, I'm Ruchi Singh from Ruchi Singh Talks. I own my life and I help others to own theirs. I dedicate this video to all the freedom fighters of India, our superheroes. I always say it will mean a lot to me if you can subscribe to Ruchi Singh Talks on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. But this video is special to me. So you don't have to do any of these but please listen to the complete video this one is for my country today we don't have to think twice to wave our flag and chant india india but it was not the same always was it there was a time if you said india india or wave the tricolor you could be put in jail or die for it this reminds me of another brave freedom fighter of india tirupur kumaran he was part of a non-violent patriotic march i repeat part of a non-violent patriotic march protesting against the arrest of mahatma gandhi on this non-violent march he was beaten to death by the police under the british raj why because he refused to let our flag which he was holding to fall to the ground he died holding the flag We all know of Mahatma Gandhi, father of the nation. However, there was another Gandhi who was called the Frontier Gandhi. He was founder of the Khudai Khidmatkar, servant of the God movement, which was based on the Mahatma Gandhi's ideology of satyagraha, non-violent peaceful resistance. He was Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, and he told his followers I am going to give you such a weapon that the police and the army will not be able to stand against it. It is the weapon of the prophet, but you are not aware of it. That weapon is patience and righteousness. No power on the earth can stand against it. This message of non-violent resistance connected so deep with his followers. that when the british ordered troops to open fire with machine gun on the unarmed crowd who had gathered in peshawar to protest against the arrest of abdul ghaffar khan the khudai khidmatgar members acted in accord with their training in non violence and faced the bullets as the troops fired on these unarmed men and women approximately 250 people were martyred that day It takes a special type of courage and bravery to stand unarmed in front of the complete might of a ruthless oppressive regime. When we talk about our independence we remember all these leaders but let's not forget 
that no movement is successful without the participation of the masses and millions of unnamed Indians who suffered and died for our freedom are also our superheroes. An old man was mercilessly beaten by the cops under the British rule. His fault was that he had launched a peaceful, silent procession to boycott arrival of the Simon Commission in Lahore in 1928. Do you know what this lion heart did? He said, I declare that the blow stuck at me will be the last nails in the coffin of the British rule in India. This brave superhero is one of the legendary freedom fighters of India, Lala Lajpat Rai, one of the founders of the Swadeshi movement Make in India. His death, as he had rightly predicted, acted like a fuel to the fire which was already burning in the hearts of millions of Indians. When Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev retaliated to the death of Lala Lajpat Rai, they were arrested and finally hanged to death. They were not even provided the dignity of proper cremation rites. They were cremated secretly by the jail authority and the ashes were thrown in the river Satluj. Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev were only 23 and Rajguru was 22 at the time when they were hanged. There was a young woman, a princess, who had the choice between freedom and surrender. She chose to fight for the independence and died fighting for it. She was the brave Rani of Jhansi, Rani Lakshmi Bai. She was one of the first women martyrs in India's fight for independence. Her bravery and courage were so inspiring that even her enemy admired her. Khubladi Mardani wo to Jhansi wali Rani. There was another group of brave men who fired the imagination of the entire country. This band of young men had taken on the might of the British Empire to fund the purchase of weapons in order to continue the war with the dream of an independent India. August 9, 1925, Ram Prasad Bismil, Ashfaqullah Khan, Rajendra Lahiri and Roshan Singh stopped the train at Kakori and took the money meant for the British government treasury. It sent shockwaves throughout the entire country when all four, all four of them were hanged for a simple robbery. Bhagat Singh, one of the most influential freedom fighters of India had said, they may kill me, but they cannot kill my ideas. They can crush my body, but they will not be able to crush my spirit. A powerful idea has a life of its own. Another powerful idea which inspired patriotism in the hearts of millions of Indians was raised by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. He said, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. Lokmanya Tilak was one of the first Indian leaders to make India's fight for freedom a mass movement. Every single Indian freedom fighter to me is a superhero. From Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose who raised the powerful slogan, you give me your blood and I'll get you independence. To Mangal Pandey who was one of the first freedom fighters of India, Lal Bahadur Shastri, Rajendra Prashad, Abdul Kalam Azad, Zakir Hussain, Sarojni Naidu, Kamla Nehru, Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel, Kasturba Gandhi, Veer Sarvarkar, Annie Besant, who actually was a British national but played a very important role in Indian independence by starting the All India Home Rule League with Lok Manyatala. Dada Bhai Naoroji, the grand old man of India, Jawaharlal Nehru, Khudiram Bhos, one of the youngest Indian revolutionaries who was hanged during the British rule at the tender age of 19. Every single man, woman and child who fought for the Indian independence to Mahatma Gandhi who gave the powerful slogan, do or die. He said, we shall either free India or die in the attempt. So next time someone has trouble standing up in respect for the national anthem, just remember that it took 200 years of immense struggle, 
hardship, sacrifice and even death of millions for us to have the privilege of having our own national anthem, our own flag and our right to call our country our own. Even while I'm recording this and as you are listening to this, our armed forces are living in extreme conditions, harsh conditions, ready to give up their life for a flag, national anthem and our country. We may be from different backgrounds, states, region, religion, but I hope when it comes to India, we can all become one. Jai Hind!